Hello, my name is Phil Tridey, and I'm a marketing manager at Dell Technologies. In this installment, we're going to talk about the new PowerStore platform models, as well as other new hardware elements featured in the 3.0 announcement. The PowerStore 3.0 release has added a record number of new product features, including several that are the result of new hardware. The most significant change for the product line results from the introduction of four new appliance platforms that will replace the five models of the original generation. While delivering increased performance and scale, these models also maintain a high degree of hardware compatibility with generation one. Another significant hardware development is the introduction of NVMe drive expansion enclosures, providing a uniform storage architecture for backend storage and increasing both performance and scale. And continuing the evolution of end-to-end -end NVMe infrastructure, new 100 gig I.O. modules expand the scope and performance of PowerStore's Ethernet-based storage capabilities. First, let's talk about the new product platform offerings available with the first PowerStore platform refresh. The 200 series, the 1200, the 3200, the 5200, and the 9200 collectively replace the five original dual socket models referred to by their Warnado EX codename. Each of the new models uses Intel's Cascade Lake second generation scalable processors, and each PowerStore model offers more cores, larger memory, or both relative to the model it replaces. These Intel processors provide better performance than the previous generation with higher base and turbo boost clock rates and larger L2 cache. These new hardware platforms, along with PowerStore OS optimizations in the 3.0 release, provide a significant performance boost for new deployments and for customers planning to upgrade their Gen 1 PowerStore systems. As a side note, the single socket PowerStore 500 was the first model to use Cascade Lake when it was introduced in 2021, and it remains unchanged. PowerStore uses a modular approach to the I.O. portion of the appliance hardware, including ports for back-end storage as well as for front-end connectivity. With the arrival of NVMe expansion enclosures and storage, a new embedded module, the version 2, provides the necessary updates to the back-end ports. The SAS expansion ports are no longer present on the 200 series, having been replaced by two 100 gigi ports per node. These GIGI ports are configured as an option during system ordering so that customers can omit them unless they're planning to deploy expansion enclosures. These ports can also be added to the embedded module 2 in the field should the customer later require them. And while there is no SAS backend support available in these new 200 series platforms, it will be supported for 200 series data in place upgrades to the existing gen models with SAS expansion. Another capability being introduced with the Gen 2 platforms, a security feature called Hardware Root of Trust, is based on new features found in the Intel chipset hardware. Utilizing the trusted platform module hardware, PowerStore OS is able to verify the identity of system hardware components to prevent malicious activity, while Intel BoostGuard verifies firmware packages before they're allowed to be loaded, providing a higher degree of low-level security. Extending the utility of PowerStore's end-to-end -end NVMe architecture, the new 24-drive 2U NVMe expansion enclosure provides multiple benefits to the product line, including scalability, performance, and versatility. By replacing serial-attached SCSI with PCIe and Rocky as the connectivity for expansion enclosures and storage devices, NVMe expansion drives now appear just like the devices in the base enclosure, ensuring extreme low latency along with high bandwidth. Performance is further enhanced thanks to the 100 gig e backend ports available on the X200 series platforms. With available 13.36 terabyte NVMe flash drives, max effective capacity for appliance increases 60% to 4.5 petabytes for 1,000 to 9,200 appliances with these new enclosures. And the NVMe expansion provides a major capacity boost for the PowerStore 500, utilizing 25 gig e ports on the embedded module to provide NVMe connectivity and a 4.7 petabyte max capacity. All of these benefits 
of DRE, such as single drive ads and distributed sparing, apply here as well, and NVMe drives can now be readily moved anywhere in the extended appliance. And for the 200 series models, Hardware Root of Trust support includes the expansion storage as well. And for the growing list of PowerStore end-to-end -end NVMe and advanced networking support, there is one more thing. Balancing that new 100 gigabit per second backend connectivity, new two port 100 gig E IO modules provide a simple upgrade and a 4X bandwidth boost for NVMe over TCP, iSCSI, and file workloads. Initially available for PowerStore T1000 to 9200 models, these modules support QSFP28 or direct copper connectivity and take advantage of the existing I.O. module support in PowerStore OS, providing for flexible deployment as well as simplified management. That was a quick overview of the major new hardware advancements included in PowerStore 3.0. For more information on PowerStore, please check out dell.com slash PowerStore. <laughs>